hi. I didn't notice you there. I'm Mickey Rodney. You may remember me from such hit educational films as Hungry, The Glorious Land of Pigs and Peppers, or Mud, Dirt, and Poverty, A Brief History of the Baltic States. And today, have I got a special educational treat for you. Today, we're going to be learning about Afghanistan and what it holds for you. Now, little Billy here has been fed a constant stream of dirty, filthy, disgusting lies about Afghanistan and its culture. But mister, isn't it pronounced Afghanistan? Well, yes it is, little Jimmy. And you, that was a test. And you passed. Oh boy, I sure am keen on this subject. Now, tell me, Timmy, when I say Afghan... Afghanistan, what is it that you think about? Wrong! Uh, my glasses. That's the price you pay, little Bobby. The price you pay for ignorance. Now, come with me on a magical journey to Afghanistan! I don't know you! That's Pashtun, the local language here. It may sound like gibberish to you, little Jimmy, but I, with 18 PhDs, understand every word they're saying. What's that man saying over there? Well, he's saying how much he thinks you smell bad. Really? No. Hey, mister. My mommy says family is the most important thing in life. Do they have families here in Afghanistan? Why don't just take a look around you, little Ricky? Oh, I must have been a great egg moron to believe they didn't have families here. Hey, what are you doing in my kala? What's a kala, mister? That's just what they call home in a little country I like to call Afghanistan. What are you guys doing eating? It's Ramadan, you can't eat. During Ramadan, we can do many things like eat, drink, smoke, and have sex. Only after dark, though. Yes, little Jimmy, that's correct. Wait, how do you know my name? Now enjoy your hospitality, Jimmy. Here's some non bread. Non bread? I've never had this before. Oh, Matt, I could eat this for every meal. You couldn't eat non bread for every meal, little Jimmy. Why not? Because bread makes you fat. Bread makes you fat? Now, little Petey. Climbing up these stairs is representative of the Hindu Kush mountain range dominated geography of a little country I like to call Afghanistan. Now, look over that hill yonder. As you can see, they're performing a traditional Afghan dance. But why are they dancing? Because, Petey. In this Muslim-dominated country, their holy day is on a Friday. Why are they getting down on Friday? I guess you could say they're looking forward to the weekend. Oh, gee whiz, it looks like we're back to where we started. Well, I sure learned a lot about Afghan culture. It seems it gives meaning to people's lives there, and it's been formed as a logical response to years of turmoil and poverty and war. Ha ha ha! Kids say the darndest things. Join me and Ezekiel next time for my new special entitled Nepal, the country that really makes me just want to